Dr. Marcus Plescher is the Chief Medical Officer at the Association of State and Territorial Health Officials. He joins us now live uh, via Skype uh, from Charlotte, North Carolina, in the United States. Good to have you with us, uh, Doctor. Um, there are reports that say that the U.S. is floating the idea of splitting uh, doses of the vaccine to use uh, perhaps the Pfizer one, the, the one from AstraZeneca, uh, uh, to reach more people. Um, certain idea, uh, I think, is actually being trialled right now in the UK. Is that a good idea or not? It's difficult to say. I think anything that would allow us to increase the reach of the, of the vaccine would be helpful. But, um, you know, any kind of changes like that and in, in how the vaccine is used or how the doses are allocated would have to first be approved by the Food and Drug Administration. These uh, vaccines are supposed to be given in two doses. Um, uh, there's also talk now of, of, particularly in the UK, of delaying the second dose for up to three months instead of the, the 21 days. It, is, is that a good idea too? I mean, w would you still have immunity to, to the virus uh, if you have that, that three-month gap between jabs? Well, the problem with that is that we don't have a lot of evidence of, of how that would impact the effectiveness of the vaccine. The, the information we have is from the trials that the vaccine manufacturers did, and, and they did those trials with this very specific period between the first dose and the second dose. So the concern would be that if you delay the second dose substantially like that, it, it might mean that then the ultimate immunity isn't, isn't as effective as what we had seen in the trials. So it's, you know, I guess it ends up just being a balance or a trade-off between trying to create a situation where we'll have more of the vaccine so that more people at least have some protection. But I think we want to be cautious that we don't undermine the, the true effectiveness of the vaccine, which is very good and which is one of the things that's really working in our favor. You've got this new variant uh causing problems in the UK. It's a fast-spreading variant. Scotland has gone into lockdown. The chances are that England will follow suit in the next few hours when the Prime Minister speaks. There's also um, a new strain in Africa that's causing some concern. Um, if the virus mutates, could it avoid um, uh, the effect, the impact of, of vaccines altogether? Could it, could it make the, the, the vaccines useless? Right now, we don't think there's a great danger of viral mutations resulting in the vaccine being ineffective or even less effective. Um, the, the vaccine is designed to recognize a fairly large piece of the virus called the spike protein, and that you'd have to have pretty substantial mutations for that to change so much that the vaccine wouldn't be effective anymore. So, uh, you know, we continue to monitor this very closely. But right now, there's really a lot of confidence, at least in what we're seeing so far, that the vaccine should work just fine uh, with, with these variants as well. OK, what about um, problems with the, the rollout of, of, of vaccines in that um, uh, people are getting the vaccine, but not nearly enough to give uh, the community any kind of, of protection in that the, the vaccine is, is still going to be out there? How, how many people do we need before uh, we've beaten the virus? Well, uh, you know, the, the exact number to reach what we refer to as herd immunity, uh, where we really have things completely under control, that's still the <laughs> subject of some speculation, but it's probably somewhere between 60 and 80 percent. But keep in mind that as we have more and more of the population vaccinated, that's that many less people who can spread the vaccine from each other. So I think that as we begin to administer the vaccine and have more people who've had it, and particularly vaccinating people who are at higher risk and more likely to pass the infection, like healthcare workers, we will begin to see some benefits from that. I think, you know, even when we start to get up around 20% vaccination rates. It's been... Really good to talk to you, sir. Many thanks indeed for being with us. Dr. Marcus Plescher there uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina.